So, you really love grass and you want to make it pixel art. Hey guys, welcome back, that's, welcome back to Dead by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Libra Sprite once again, taking a look at some more pixel art. You guys seem to love the pixel art videos, so we're back with another one. Um, we're going to be making some, some grass today. Um, all different types of grass tiles. So let's get started. I want to go ahead and I'm using uh, a palette here, so we're just going to scrub all this away. Um, I'm going to leave the first color black and then we'll use the second color and we'll make this like a green. I want it to be kind of a yellowish green, so we'll do something like that. That looks good. Um, and I just want to go ahead and hit G to bucket fill. We'll just bucket fill all that. Um, and for the time being, anyway, actually, what I want to do is we can actually let's, let's do that. Let's, let's, do, that, let's do that again. Uh, I don't want to bucket fill because um, let's go through. And I kind of want to do, since we have nine blocks here, I'm on 48 by 48 uh, canvas size. I, I just want to go ahead and you with know, my brush, I'll just draw in some um, some uh, pieces of grass where I want this to lay and where I want it to sit. So pretty much what I'm doing right now is we're just drawing in those pieces uh, that we want to be uh, overlapping other materials. So someone had asked me about this a little bit ago. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hit G now and bucket fill the outside. So we'll bucket fill all of that. So now what we have here is we have nine tiles, three by three. We have nine tiles um, in which are all different. So if I go ahead and I hit view and we turn the grid on and we go to grid settings, we can take the width to 60, well, 16 by 16 is right. We'll do that and then hit that on. Hit OK. All right, so now you can see where all of our different tiles lay. You can see exactly what, you know, I want you to see now. Um, so what we can do is with all of these uh, different squares, all of these different blue squares are each individual tile. So the great thing about this is that now we can go ahead and take uh, all of that and make tiles from this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a maybe a brownish color. I want this to be dirt. Yeah. And then we'll hit G to bucket fill all those pieces. Since, since we have the grid on, it's not letting us bucket fill the whole thing. But that's fine. Um, so, what I want to do first, before we do anything else, is I want to add a layer here. We'll use layers for the first time. We haven't really used layers that much. I a tab to open this piece up down here, um, and then we can just go ahead and add in a new layer. Uh, actually, a new layer by right-clicking this layer, hitting New. And then I'm just going to call this layer, we'll right-click that, uh, Properties. And we'll just call it um, Grass, right? Now, this, this layer right here is going to be our actual grass tile. Now, I, I, I'm saying this weird because you'll see in a second. I want to have one grass tile that we overlay to all of the different ones. So I'm going to turn that grid off for a second. Actually, I'm not going to turn it on for a second. We need to get that square right. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so um, that green color, let's do that again. Uh, we can get rid of all these. I always do that. We can get rid of all of those. Hit I to eye drop that green color, then hit this exclamation point. Uh, grab the brown exclamation point. Now we have both those up here. Great. Perfect. So what I want to do now is we'll hit uh, B to uh, G to bucket fill this area, and this little piece is going to be the tile, the grass tile we're actually going to work with. And now this is on the other layer, so you can see we can move it around separately from this layer, which is nice. All right, so on our grass layer, I want to go ahead add in another color. We'll eye drop this green, drop the color down into the right a little bit, desaturate a little bit, and bring it a little bit more towards the blue, like that. So now we have this secondary green color, go to my brush by hitting B, and then we can just go ahead and paint in some grass pieces. I am using a tablet today. Um, I usually always use tablets unless it's like super, um, like, like a super specific situation. Um, somebody asked me, and many people actually ask me if they, uh, if they, if I recommend a tablet for pixel art, and I do, I recommend a tablet, um, especially if you're doing bigger work or uh, more natural work like this, because if you're doing like... Uh, like sci-fi paneling and stuff, you don't really need that because all the lines are going to be straight and perfect. But for this, I mean, it's not really going to be perfect, and you want to get it as best as you can. So we're going to go ahead and just put in some random dots like that, some random grass streaks, strands, and stuff. Then I'll take this color, I'll desaturate it even more, darken it, and then we'll turn it to, to the yellow a little bit, right? Uh, it's too desaturated. We'll do something like that's too saturated now. That's good. Maybe a little bit too yellow. Like I said, you'll be able to see once we're done with this guy, we can just go ahead and tile this guy across our entire, um, and across our entire uh, scene here, our entire canvas, and then we'll be able to just erase the pieces we don't need. So let me go ahead and uh, put in a little variation. Maybe we'll do like uh, one of these, maybe, uh, or maybe one of these. 
maybe something like that maybe like some little flowers or something i don't know um and maybe i want something even more bluish green like ridiculously crazy blue like uh like that maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll do something like that. And we'll just put a couple of those in as well. I just I want the variation, you know? That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the variation. That looks good to me. I think that's uh, totally fine for a, gar a grass tile. Very simple today. Uh, but you get the point. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, let me grab this and pull it down. All right. So now for this, I want to go ahead and on each of these pieces, we'll select... Um, we'll hit this little box tool. We'll select all of this. Nope. 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 That's not what I want to do. We'll select all of this. We'll hit copy. And then we'll hit paste. Uh, right there, Control V. Then we can just move all these around. So we can literally just go uh, Control V, and then move it up to this grid. Control, nope, that's what I'm not meant to do. Uh, Control V. There we go. Move it there. Control V. Down here as well. Control V. Down. Control V. Nope, that's not what I'm meant to do. <laughs> uh, Control V. Yep, and then Control V and Control V. There we go. So now this entire uh, canvas is filled up with the grass tiles on this layer. That's that's what we need. Now, if we were to go ahead and go to property, right-click grass and go to properties, turn that opacity down, you can see where we need to erase now. So we need to erase every single tile that's on the brown part. So we'll go ahead and hit E on my keyboard, or we can go over here to eraser, and we'll just erase all these pieces because we don't need them. So we'll just erase all of this, or you know what we can do? We can go to our, our first layer with the dirt on it. We can turn the grid off. Turn the grid. Uh, oh, wait, no, we have to show grid all right there we go so now i want to go ahead and grab the uh wand tool magic wand tool right there just click that go to grass unhide that layer hit delete no nope, wait no no we need to do that again there we go now we can hit delete all right so you have to click in the canvas there we go so now all of that is deleted let's go to grass right click it again properties turn the opacity back up and now you can see we have all of our grass where it's supposed to be which looks nice and good now for the dirt, I want to go ahead and really quickly do the dirt. We can turn the um, the, the tile back on. This is be a pretty easy show grid. We'll do the same thing, but with a dirt layer. So we'll right click uh, new, and we'll call this one uh, properties uh, dirt. Looks good. Now for the brown colors, I want to take that brown, darken it, desaturate, bring it to the red. Exclamation point. Now we can grab this and. Uh, the dirt will be kind of strange, but let's just do, I don't want to do like a set in stone like that, right? I don't think I want to do that. Uh, and eh, no, that's going to be too much. Let's uh, just real quick, just so I can give you guys an example of multiple different ones. We'll just go ahead and pop a few of those in there and then I'll get another color. We'll lighten it and bring it to the yellow, bring it to the, uh, uh, desaturate, uh, saturate. Sorry. Yeah, that's better. All right. And then uh, maybe not. That's that's better. Okay, that's what I need. And then that one, yeah. And then we'll just kind of just put these wherever you know, something like that, all the way around the canvas in various locations. Looks good. Looks good. And now that we have that piece, which is right there, I, I need to actually grab the regular brown, and then put that onto this as well. All right. So grab that on the dirt. G, bucket fill, you can't see anything, but it did that. <laughs> um, all right, so now with all of this, we do the same exact thing. We'll grab that square. Let me zoom out a little bit. Um, and then we'll select this piece right here. Control V, uh, Control C, sorry. Uh, Control V, we'll move it over there. Sometimes you'll see stuff like uh, this. You might need that for a corner. You can do that, just do the opposite way around. And we need to invert the selection first. So select, invert, delete. Now we can go back to dirt, dirt properties, two five five, and now you can see that we have our dirt texture. Looks good. There we go. And in those various corners and edges where you want that to be, that looks good. But like I said, that's too dark. So we can go up to uh, edit, replace color, and then just replace that color with uh, something that's lighter, uh, like that. Yeah. So that looks good. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. I'll see you guys in the next pixel art tutorial. But until then, bye bye.